into oblivion. But he had one characteristic that suddenly seemed valuable. That it is not, so far as I can see, coincidence that this happened now. We are living in a time when the right of free speech has been under constant assault, assault from both the left and the right, when there have been closings of libraries, books removed from schools, when everything that used to be tokens of America's freedom of speech is under threat. And so the idea that the fatwa managed to stay at bay for so long and that this appalling attack took place now is not happenstance. It's not happenstance, it's a reflection of something we all have to fight to control, to change, to release from control so that free speech will once again be ours. Salman's life is our life and his death, his injury is ours. We share in the turmoil, the, the, the wounding of the, and the, hurting, the hurt brought upon a, a wonderful writer by a savage figure. The fact that it happened in the United States and not in Iran or not in Afghanistan or not in China or Taiwan, it indicates how, how this country is so unprotected. Absolute devastation, absolute, you know, solid, solid uh, desire to show the solidarity for him. I mean, the courage this Salman has shown, the care for other writers in the middle of his own trauma all of these years, the fact that he thought that it was behind him, and then this cruel blow which will drive him back into hiding, let alone suffer these brutal wounds, you know, has just horrified everybody.